Hey YouTube, Sean here, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Now I know last time we said we were going to uh, rescue those guys who were trapped in the ocean, and we will eventually, but first, I want to show you this. I have made some improvements on the design of our craft. More wings will hopefully make it um, easier to fly in atmosphere. More engines, so it actually has enough power to fly. And of course, you know, a lot more boosters and thruster rockets to get this thing into orbit. And more emergency parachutes, so designed in a way to hopefully make it land on its wheels. So hopefully the game doesn't crash. Holy crap, the game didn't crash. Oh my god, that just looks wobbly. Even though I have so many struts on it. Mac Jeb, I will definitely need your help to get this thing in the orbit. Three, two, one. Launch! Oh, here we are, it's moving! Yes. That's good, because I don't want to use these rockets just yet. It's running purely on the boosters right now. And it's actually working. Luckily the game didn't crash. When I first built this thing I tried to kind of test it while I was not recording and the game just crashed as soon as I hit the launch button. Those. Hell yeah! This thing well, <laughs> is actually gonna work. I forgot to check who is actually piloting. Jebediah and Bill. Quite appropriate that they be the first Kerbals in orbit. In space. The problem is, I have no idea if this thing is actually capable of landing. It might be a good idea to launch up another lander craft just in case and leave this thing in orbit. And have someone else. That's a little more expendable. <laughs> Pilot it down just in case. Actually, I kinda... Yeah, either way. Um, that's what I want. Use those engines. Actually, uh, do we have a stable orbit now? Oh, we do. Yes! Go away, autopilot. Don't need you anymore. We have a stable orbit. We are successful. Oh my god, yes. I have no idea how long I've already been recording, but... I guess it's time to go save those guys who are uh, trapped in the ocean. Okay, so... Um... I need something that would long range and can land in the water, so it's got to have vertical landing capabilities. And long range, because it's pretty far out there. So, uh... This is going to be kind of fun. We need that, of course. We need... Where is that one thing at? I don't remember. It's probably in here. Oh, oh, yes. Crew cabin, capacity four. It's good, we have four Kerbals. Two Kerbals out there. That need to be picked up. That's the docking port. Don't need that. Fuel. I gotta make this thing be capable of vertical takeoff and landing, but that's where the uh, fire spitter helicopter parts come in. Alright. Felt a little choppy there for a minute. I don't know. I am actually currently uploading 
previous episode as we speak. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. No. We need jet engines. Actually, better than jet engines. I have something better than jet engines, I do. These. These will give... These will give me the range I need. Not a whole lot of power, so it's not necessarily that fast. But, as I may have stated in previous episode, slap a couple of these things on here and you scoop up hydrogen from the atmosphere, and if you put enough of them on, you essentially have unlimited fuel. Alright. Alright, so the game may have crashed a, l a little bit, but yeah, I got this thing running now, and I totally forgot to take what's-his-face out of there. Anyways, let's try not to kill him then. Luckily, I got all the emergency parachutes, which are not properly set up on anything. No, no, this is. But that's okay, I have action groups, so I don't really care. Um... That on, let's activate those ion engines, which would be a good idea to do that. That's right, three. There we go. Probably should have throttled down a bit. Let's initiate a hold at 2,000 meters. How's our uh, hydrogen resources? It is actually using up hydrogen. These are not producing enough. Alright, we are almost there. Less than 30 kilometers away, we need to start lowering our altitude so we can land near it. Unfortunately, it's dark on this side of the planet right now. That's gonna make this a little bit more difficult. The uh, the hydrogen scoops are working <laughs> really well, actually. Um, I went up to 10,000 meters. There's less. Uh, the atmosphere is a little thinner, so there's less air resistance, so I was able to travel twice as fast. Still took like a half hour to fly over here. <laughs> it's it's a pretty long journey, and it's going to be just as long going back, depending on the rotation of the planet. Because okay, you know, it's in a matter of
the ship now. Yep, the lights are working. Hey, All those fellas that can just uh, deploy the parachutes. Alright. Might just be the texture of the water moving around, making it look like. Okay, we are five meters above the water. It's really, really low. of the water is moving around and it's making it look like it's going the wrong way. It's weird. But I'm getting closer. I'm getting closer. Alright. Nope. Nope. That's getting further away now. Where is... Oh, it's floating away. That's what happened. By the current. Must be. Or something. Or. I don't know. Oh god. That's. We have touched down in the water. Let's try to bring this in a little bit closer. Whoa, no, bad, 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 bad idea. quite as well as I'd hoped. I just don't want to have to swim though, because oh, I can't move too quickly in the water though. Swim, little Kerbal, swim. Swim to your rescue.
realized I have the, the laser module on there so I could use it to beam them aboard. Probably would have made things a little easier, but I'll, I don't know if it, how, if it worked. I'll test it next time. Yep. Now we still need to. Oh, I'm to give you a lot of Hmm. Well, let's see what happened. It's still there. I didn't destroy it. I'm 